Hi, and welcome to Sim Local. We're going to show you how to activate your eSIM on Samsung device using a QR code or manual activation codes. To get the most out of your plan, you should install it just before takeoff or as soon as you land. Just make sure you have a stable Wi Fi connection and try not to close your screen during the installation. Ready? Let's get connected. Once you purchase an eSIM from Sim Local, you'll receive a QR code. If you can't scan the QR code using your camera app, you might be able to tap and hold the QR code to download your plan. Alternatively, you can screenshot the QR code to save the image in your gallery. Then, go to your phone settings, Connections, SIM Manager, tap Add eSIM, scan QR code, tap Gallery icon and select your saved QR code image. If you want to download your plan using manual activation codes, go to Settings, Connections, SIM Manager. Tap Add eSIM, scan QR code, enter activation code. Enter the SMDP plus address and activation code here. Once your plan is downloaded, you need to set your preferences for data, calls and texts, and turn data roaming on. Go to Settings, Connections, SIM Manager. You'll find your new eSIM plan here. First of all, make sure your new plan is turned on. Next, you want to rename your eSIM. Select your new plan and tap Edit. We recommend naming it SIM Local or after the country you're planning to visit. Next, you'll need to set your preferred SIM for calls, text and mobile data. Your choices will usually be your home plan or your new travel plan. If your new travel eSIM plan includes calls and texts, select your eSIM for both. If you want to receive calls on your existing number, select your home plan. Now, select your new eSIM for mobile data. Data switching should be off while you're traveling. Finally, you need to turn on data roaming. Go to Connections, Mobile Networks and make sure data roaming is enabled. You've successfully installed your eSIM. Happy travels!